all right guys welcome back in this lesson we're gonna kick off our front end so the first thing we want to do is to download the theme we are going to be using right so on the resources of this lesson you're gonna see the theme right here so what you want to do is download the theme extract it and it's gonna look exactly like this so the first thing I'm gonna do is copy the theme folder in the extracted folder right here so I'm just gonna copy and then what I want to do is go to the folder where my project is located and that's valet slash CMS so it can be anything on your end and then I'll paste it right here so you can see right there I have it I'm just gonna paste that item okay then I'll go to my text editor and you can see it right here but since I don't want these changes to be pushed to github I'm just gonna say slash theme should be added to the git ignore so that github or git ignores it now what we're gonna do is we are going to be changing we are going to be copying templates from this folder and using in application that's why I want it close so the first thing we're gonna do is the welcome.blade.php this is not the welcome page that we want so I'm gonna delete that and then if you check out the theme maybe you want to actually execute this in the browser and view so i'm just gonna copy the path the relative path to this and then paste it in my browser or actually i think i should copy the path let me try that okay great the path so if you don't want to copy the path you can just double click it in your explorer if you're on Windows and in your finder if you're on Mac OS and it's gonna open up in the browser so what we want to do is go to blog so this is a blog the one we're gonna be using is the sidebar right here so this is what we want to copy so you can see the location is CMS theme blog sidebar dot HTML so that's the first thing we want to copy so theme blog sidebar dot HTML we'll copy the contents all of it and we're going to paste that in our welcome.blade.php now the first thing you see is the scripts right here so maybe we should start from the top right so at the top the first thing we see is the CSS so it means we need to copy the CSS to our public folder and we also need to copy the five icons and the torch icon right there so what we want to do is where we have assets CSS page.min.css which is theme assets css so we have the page.main.css and the style.css so in the public folder here css i'm just gonna copy this so copy and then i'm gonna paste here great so you can see the page.main.css and if you can't do this with your editor what you want to do is open this up in your finder and actually do it your finder or your explorer okay and then the next thing is the style.css so I'm going to copy that also move that to the CSS folder right here paste awesome so it looks like we've copied the two CSS files that we need and since we are in the welcome.blade.php we don't need to do this path all we could do is use the asset function and paste it right there awesome then for the CSS styles.css we're also going to do the same thing asset and paste it right there awesome so for the images we also need to copy these two images if we want everything to work correctly so I'm just gonna come to image and then we have the Apple icon and the five icon I'm just gonna copy both and then come to my image folder I don't have an image folder so I'll create it IMG and I'm going to paste it right here awesome which means I can now do asset image okay and I'm also gonna copy this using asset right here okay so we've copied the image the stars and the five icons we can do that for the images right now because I don't really want us to focus on that so we're gonna go to the scripts and make sure we copy the scripts that we need so right at the bottom you can see the script right here so we're gonna come to assets and to the JavaScript and then the page.main.js and the script.js. I'm gonna copy both and then come to the JS folder and paste them right there. 
okay so it looks like i copied the whole folder that's not what i want all i want is the page.main and the script.js awesome so i can delete this one right now okay so we've copied that in our welcome.bleed.php instead of using this we can just call our asset function then let's just copy our script and call it and great so we've copied the essentials the css and the html files so i don't want us to go through the images but let me show you what we have so far so if i refresh this page you can see we have everything working as expected the only thing broken is the images like the logo right there but the html and the css with the javascript are on point which is fine for now 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 that we have that you can even see the drop downs work perfectly because you know we copied we fixed the html and the css with the javascript for the images i don't want us to worry too much about that because remember all of this data is actually going to be loaded from the database anyway okay so want to do something really important before we end this lesson and that is creating c data that we are going to use to develop the front end so i'm gonna make a seed file add make cedar and this is going to be post table cedar okay so if we go to the post table cedar that's database cedars and then we have the post table cedar what we're gonna do here is create six posts and they are the six posts that we see right here okay remember this is just dummy data but it's really important that we have good dummy data we can work with we have six posts we have eight categories right here and then we have about 12 tags we're gonna use this to create dummy data for our blog so let's get started so i'm gonna have post one is going to be called to post create and we want to use a post right here <laughs> this is probably gonna take a while but don't worry guys it's just dummy data it's really gonna save us time as we develop the front end so first thing i want to do is get the title of the post so here i'm gonna have title and next i want to have description and not sure exactly what the description should be so i'm just gonna get some leap some text and then I'm just gonna get some content can I escape that and then a category ID so that it belongs to a category so category ID in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some categories right here so category is equal to category create and we're gonna create a category with name let's check out the names we have news so the first category here has a name of news so we're gonna say category id right here so category one so we want, probably want to say category one id okay so that's a category we have a bunch of them let's create some we have names news we have marketing so we have marketing right here and this is going to be category two and then let's go ahead and create one more here we have partnership so this category is going to be called partnership and this is category three okay so i think that's gonna be enough and i think that's our first post so we're gonna create a post two which is post create and i'm just gonna pass in all of these exactly the same thing but i'm just gonna modify the title like copy this and then paste it right here and then the title is going to be the category sorry is going to be category two like that okay awesome so let's create post three and this is going to be best practices for mini is designed with example i'll paste that right here and then this is going to be category three awesome Let's go ahead and create one more post. So category four, I'm just gonna copy this one right here. Paste it right here, and this is just gonna be part of category two. I'm just gonna change this to category four. Awesome. So now that we have four posts with three categories, I'm gonna create some tags. So right here, oh, 
and I have to use category at the top. So app category. And now that we're going to use tag, so let me just use app slash tag. Awesome. So we need to create some dummy tags. So I'm just going to copy this to save time. Tag one is going to be tag create. And this tag is going to be job. Tag two is going to be tag two create. And this is going to be customers. Tag three. It's going to be tag three, create record. Awesome. So those are three tags. What we want to do is we want to say post one tags attach. And here I'm going to pass in tag one ID. I'm also going to pass in tag two ID so that post one has these two tags. Okay. Then let's do exactly the same thing with post two and then tag two ID and tag three ID. Finally, let's do the same thing with post three. We're going to give it tag one ID and tag three ID. One thing we haven't done for the post is give them images, right? So let's go and do that. That's just one more thing left for seeding the data. What we want to do is we want to check out some images we have. So let's go to assets images and we have some really nice images right here. So for example, this six dot JPJ seven and eight, we can copy these three images or we have four blog posts. So I'm just going to copy six, seven, eight and nine. I'll copy them and then come to my storage folder right here. And then in the public post folder, I'm just going to paste these. So we have six, seven, eight and nine. So let me just delete all of these other ones that exist here. Okay, so we have six, seven, eight, and nine. We probably want to rename this to one. Rename this to two. Rename this to three. And rename this to four. Remember, this is just dummy data, but we really want the dummy data to be dummy in a good way. Okay? So here, I'm just going to add an image for post one. And this is going to be post slash one dot jpg okay then for post two it's gonna be two dot jpg post three is gonna be three dot jpg and finally for post four is gonna be four dot jpg so what we're gonna do now is make sure that in our database seeds database seeder we call the post table seeder. So we're going to say this call post table seeder class. And that's it. So finally, we have the seed data for working with our front end. So what I'm going to do right now is add migrate refresh seed. And this is going to seed the users table on the post table, which means if I log in now as administrator. So let me just go to the login screen. Okay, I'm locked in. So you can check post. You can see we have four posts right here. Okay, in news, marketing, partnership, and marketing. We can check out categories. We have three. We can check out tags. We have three. If we visit the post, try to edit one of them. Great. You can see right here the tags work correctly. Categories work perfectly. Okay, so that's some really good seed data. Every time we need some seed data, we just run and my grid refresh seed and we have some good seed data. So now that we have our theme and we have some good seed data, we are going to use this data to build our front end. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around and I'll catch you up in the next lesson.